this should be the ignition block. And I know that because we recently fitted it. More wiring loom notes. The binnacle colours are as follows. Um, the um, lighting for the binnacle, so general screen lighting, is brown and green, long cable, and brown and white and green, they're both the same, short cable in the front here. Okay, so the back of the binnacle we have on the uh, right hand side as you look at the screen, we've got black and white and red on the far right as you're seeing it, followed by the, that was the neutral light by the way, the uh, turn signal light, telltale, is orange and light blue, and then the high beam light is blue and green and then under here we have an unsheathed brown and green cable that is more illumination for the binnacle and that frees the binnacle the three uh, telltale light wiring loom travels down as you're looking at it from the front the left hand side of the light and goes into a plastic sheath that curves up and under and into the large orifice at the back of the light bulb. It runs next to the cables that operate the right hand controls, the kill switch and uh, the headlight loom. Also note the white cables for the horn. Those binnacle cables we described are somewhere in there. Utterly pointless me even looking at the moment. That frightens me. Another important wiring loom note that is that um, the two front indicators are now soldered into the loom. Um, so I'm going to take this green wire and these two blacks and I'm going to cut them and I'm going to make notes with a piece of masking tape to say which is which. Okay, here's the system I'm hoping is going to work for me. So what we have done is we have cut the two front indicators um, which I soldered onto the indicator cable. Got a green cable to black and white cables. I have numbered the cut number one and I've written on the back of the tape where what it is, what this cable does. I have also written in my notebook in the journal number one green to black white indicators front. So I have a track record of which each single cable where it should go and what it's supposed to and the colours it goes to. If I don't do this I will get very lost later on. The top three um, telltale clusters here come through and for some reason have been extended into this Y lead that someone has created. So I'll have to deal with that in a minute. But the green wire from the telltales seem to go into this plug here. So I've numbered it number four and I'm unplugging that now. Okay, cutting the red homemade cable number five. And that should free up these front telltale lights to come out the top front hole of the binnacle. Back three bulbs, um, which are the orange and blue, blue and green, black and blue and red striped, go through and connect to this red block here. I wish it was all a bit more like this, but obviously someone's been in before me, so it uh, means that there's been some modifications. Hopefully that will pass through the back. Back hole and come out as one piece. 
I suspect the other one at some point had a similar type connector. Headlamp time. Some of these are just twisted and others need cutting. Number 10 is the white horn cable and that goes into the soft connector which has a green earth. Okay, number 11 is the earth from the white horn which goes to the orange telltale which goes into the connector block. This bit. And this is part of the, um, uh, the wiring harness to sort out the uh, telltale rectifier unit. Number 12, brown horn cable to light blue green. And that goes into the white block you can see here. Blue cable, white stripe to blue cable, white stripe. Very melted looking connector, <coughs> does come apart. Okay, this is where things get a bit funky. I have got a brown and white cable coming out of this block here, which is tapping into the brown and white cable here, which is part of the red Y harness that someone has made. Um, so I need to break that connector I believe these come apart, it's just remembering how the hell they do it. Ah, like that. That separates that, and I should be able to pull that apart. This is less than ideal, of course. Okay, and there it is. I'm trying to skewer myself. I should be able to unpick. Careful. There we go, that's the brown cable number 14 detached. I'm going to do this clip back up because that's not going anywhere. Okay, numbers 15. <laughs> 15, 16, and 17 other diodes that we fitted to rectify the LED um, flasher unit issue. Number 18 is green earth to green earth and it comes from this white big block and then heads off somewhere else. Number 19 coming out the white block again it's black with a white stripe to black with a white stripe. Number 20, out of the white block again, black to black. Number 21, black from right hand indicator into soft connector. Number 22 from right hand indicator into another green and yellow wire. I'm just going to extract those out the back socket and they're free. This is an odd one. Um, it goes from the small white connector. It's white in colour and it connects to a light grey one, which is part of the wiring harness that runs to the rear of the bike. And that's number 23. 23. Okay, I'm now ready to disconnect um, the smaller of the two major blocks. 
He says, come on, dear. There we go. So that now leaves this bird's nest. And I'm going to disconnect the larger of the two blocks. Finally, after much wrestling, we have a bird's nest. Right. <clears throat> we should be able to extract part of the harness out the back of the headlight now. It will almost certainly put a bit of a fight, but let's try it anyway. is attached still by a couple of cables. There's always a few you miss. Number 25, another splice connector. And this time we are removing the white wire. Again, try not to skewer myself. That didn't go well. I'm sure I like these splice connectors, they seem a bit bodgy. I won't film that. That is an empty headlight bulb. 